Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing a vlog. It's probably not going to be very long, honestly. It's probably going to be like a day, maybe two. But I'm going to be doing the June box for Once Upon a Book Club. I'm super excited about this. If you haven't heard about Once Upon a Book Club, it is a typically a monthly subscription um, where they take a book that's newly released and they create completely custom items to pages specific to the book. And as you're reading, you get to a page and there'll be a sticky note in the book that says, Open Gift. And then there's on the gifts it'll tell you what page and you open that gift so it's an interactive reading experience it is not primarily Christian fiction it is not primarily clean either they just pick like bestsellers or books that are coming out the June box was famous for a living by Melissa Ferguson and I wanted to read that book and when I heard that she was going to be part of the once upon a book club I knew that I wanted to wait so that I could get the box so it came today and I'm super excited I'm gonna open it up and just show you guys what it looks like inside I'm not gonna open the gifts yet because that's the point of the vlog I'm gonna show you and open up the gifts with you guys while I'm reading book but let's first talk about this box I love their packaging because look how stinking cute. And then on the back, and then this is the other side. Looks like a little book. I love it. They have adult, which is pink. They have YA, and then they have middle grade. And each color is different. And then they do special things. So if you read secular books and don't have an issue with that, it's definitely something that is super cool. You could try out. Um, I know that July's book um, is a thriller. So, but I'm very excited. So let's just go ahead and open the package real quick. Welcome to my floor. So here is the box. Dun, 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 dun. Look how stinking cute. So let's see. Alrighty. So there's some stuff here. I'll open that in a minute. But here is the book. And when you flip through it. Uh, let's see. Man. I'm flipping too fast. Like, see right here? It says, open your gift. And then, they're like, I think there's three or four uh, post-its throughout the story. So when you get to those, then you have these, and their packaging is so stinking cute. So on page 21, we'll open this gift. On page 63, we'll open this gift. Page 106, we'll open this. Let's see what else. Uh, page 171. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. So that's what it's like, and they're completely custom to whatever is happening in the story. So I am super excited. Look how, go I'm obsessed with this packaging, truly. Like, it is, for me, definitely worth the $50. I'm so excited. So come along with me as we do a reading vlog of Famous for a Living, once Upon a Book Club edition. Alrighty, I just got to page 21 in Famous for a Living, and that means we are at our first gift. So... I have a feeling I know what it is because, again, with Once Upon a Book Club, what's happening in the um, book, the gift is like customized to that. So here is the box, page 21. Should have grabbed scissors or something. And while I'm opening this, I'll tell you a little bit about what about the book that I can tell so far. Um, because again, I don't read the backs of books. <laughs> Um, but I do know, I knew this from the beginning. So she is an influencer and she just turned 30. So we've been introduced to her and um, like some of her fears of the fact that like as you age, like, you know, there's always going to be someone younger, prettier, better than you in the age of influencing. 
Um, so she's like kind of worried about that. But she's about to launch a new social media app with her, with like her business partner called Club. And so that's part of the story. We don't know much about it yet. I have a feeling it's not going to end very well. Um, and then we meet Z Zaya. Zaya. I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong. I apologize. Um, and he is a ranger, a forest ranger. So we've met them. So on page 21, I have the gift open she, because it's her birthday. Her uncle comes into town um, to New York and he gave her a gift. And this is what it says in the book. Let's see. I'm going to pull the thing off. It says, the square box is small and unassuming, cardboard, cardboard colored, no label, but as my fingers lift off the lid, my breath catches in my throat. I raise the thin gold chain in my fingertips. The rose embossed locket is so small you wouldn't think you could fit a picture in there, and yet I unlatch it and sure enough, there she is. Aunt Claire on one side, hair tangled and swept up in the wind as she stands on a hillside grinning, and Uncle Terry, much leaner in both build and facial hair, in the same park uniform he's wearing now. So that's the breakdown. So when you open the gift, it is the locket. So it says, Cat's Family Locket. As my fingers lift off the lid, my breath catches in my throat. I raise a small golden chain in my fingertips. So, oh, that's so cute. Wow, they did such a good job. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you, but we'll try. There we go. So there's Aunt Claire and Uncle Terry on the rose gold locket. So that's page 21, the first gift. Um, as far as the book, I'm still, again, 21 pages in, so I don't have a ton of opinions yet. Um, we've been introduced to quite a few characters, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but I am excited to keep reading and to really get into the, like, depth of the story, so. The next gift will be on page 63, so let's keep going. <laughs> just got to page 63 which is it is now time to open my next gift so they're in a car currently in his truck um, and I'm not 100% sure what this could be so let's open it the packaging though top-notch really Truly fabulous. Let's see what it is. I'm curious. Oh, cute! It's funny because I've been needing to get some of these. They are car coasters. And it's funny because every time I go to the store, I look at these trying to decide what kind I want. And now. I'll just use these. But it says keep your car keep your cup holders clean and protected while also adding some extra personality to your car with these floral pattern car coasters. The protective cork backing prevents the bottom from bumping and wearing. Designed with the notch on the side of the coaster allowing you to easily remove it from the cup the cup holder to clean. Um and what's happening in the book is that I'll read this. It says, the inside of someone's vehicle says a lot about who they are. A hundred little details about a person's lifestyle and preferences. And as I look around, I feel like I'm gathering more data ab about this man's life in three minutes than if I read his profile on eHarmony. An empty coffee mug sits on the console between us, the bottom rim holding the remnants of darkest night liquid and a few coffee grounds. Drinks coffee black. Noted. Just talk about coffee and coasters, I guess. So, in the car, 
Um, so I am officially on chapter four. And what's happening in this book, the app that she was a part of, that she partnered with, crashed and burned. She signed some contracts without look, looking, and that just led to some issues. She's on the hook for like $46 million that she has to pay out to people. So she obviously gets disowned and canceled by all the companies she's with because she's an influencer. And her best friend thinks that it's a good idea for her to go home to Montana to just like get away from the public and just kind of reset her lifestyle um, and things like that. So she just got back to Montana. It's a terrible storm and she is with Zaya. I think it's Zaya, like Isaiah, Zaya. Um, and it'll be interesting. It's a little bit like, I don't want to say hate to love, because I don't think they necessarily hate each other. It's more like opposites, because he still uses a flip phone, and like he just doesn't understand her job and why she does it, and she's an influencer. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. I do wish that we had his perspective. It's told from Kat's perspective. Um, and I just personally, I like dual point of view. So I feel like I'm kind of missing being in his head a little bit. But it's still good so far. Um, and I'm excited to keep reading. So these are the coasters. Here. Cute. Alright, the next gift is on page like 117, I think. So, got a little, little ways to go, but... I will see you then. Alright, so I am on chapter 7, page 101. Look, there's Dad. Hi, Dad. No idea. It is 4th of July, so we are getting ready to head out and do a couple things. Um, so I'm going to take a break because I don't want to read this and then get to a part... Um, where I have to open a gift and I don't have my camera or the gift with me. So I will pick this up later this evening when I come home. But so far, after 100 pages in, I'm not sure 100% how I feel yet. I think it would be more beneficial and helpful for me if I could see inside his point of view. Um, I'm having a hard time connecting with both characters they both just seem a little like, two-dimensional they don't really have a whole lot of um depth yet like, she is kind of out, out of her element and she has a past that she got away from 15 years ago when she went to new york to become an influencer um and then he just kind of I have a feeling has like this idea about her that she's superficial but because we can't see into his mind we only see him from how she thinks he sees her and they aren't really communicating a whole lot like there's these looks that are passed between them and she's just kind of interpreting them for what she thinks that they mean I don't know We'll see. I enjoy the premise of it. I'm excited. So she went to Montana and she's going to be the social media coordinator for the national park that her uncle and Zaya work at. So that's going to be interesting. One thing I've come to find with Melissa's books from the couple that I've read from her, um, is that I always love her side characters. <laughs> to me, her side characters have more personality than her main characters. So, yeah. Not sure yet how I'm feeling about Kat and Zaya um, on their own or even together, because that doesn't make sense yet. But I'm only 100 pages in, and the book is 189 pages. Wow, way shorter than I thought it was going to be. 
Um, and a lot can happen in 189 pages. So we'll see how it goes. I will keep you guys updated. But off we go for our 4th of July festivities. And I will see you guys later. guys so I just got to page 106 which is our next gift I'm kind of know what it is just because of the story that's going on um, but I'm curious to see how how they do this this bag obsessed with it it's so cute so let me let me open it we just got home for a few minutes um, we did mini golf and we went to our town's like, summer fest and just kind of walked around, ate some good food, and then we are going to be leaving in just a few minutes to go and watch some fireworks. So, a great 4th of July, but here, here we go. Oh, cute. Interesting. Okay, so it is a coffee cozy so you put it in and it's nice because it has a handle that's pretty cool and it says read books drink coffee be happy the print is interesting I kind of wish they had been able to um, find a way to get a similar print to what she explained in the book that would have been super cool or even just putting a bear on it somewhere um because melissa describes this in the book so that definitely would have been very very cool but this is a very interesting design for so you can still hold hold the drink so that's cool um and then it came on this and it's just the quote that says a cozy for your co for your cozy coffee she declares with pride so that was page 106 a little coffee cozy cute my next one isn't till page 171 so oh, sorry we're not focus my next gift isn't till page 171 so it's gonna be a little bit before I keep going out of focus it'll be a little bit before my next check-in but um, it is going we'll see how it goes I really like Kat's friend Serena um, she seems like a very sensible fun character so yeah again I always end up liking her side characters more and like root for them to have their own book Wow okay not sure what's happening with the there we go um but yeah so okay i'm gonna keep reading i might have to stop because we'll probably be leaving soon to go watch fireworks but i'm hoping to try and finish this tonight but we shall see but yeah hey guys it's about 10 30 we just got back from fireworks and all of our fourth of july celebrations it was a lot of fun fourth of july is one of my absolutely favorite holidays um it could be the fact that my birthday is in two days i've always loved fourth of july um but really i just i love love the holiday um just a lot of fun so happy birthday america uh but i wanted to give a little check-in real quick because i am getting ready to get ready for bed i'm not gonna read any more tonight i do have an early morning tomorrow and then when i get home from work because while it's early it's a short day so I will probably finish this before church tomorrow and I'm very excited because it finally seems like the story is picking up a bit I'm 145 pages into it on chapter 10 and it's moving rapidly but at the same time I feel like a lot is going to happen in the next 140 pages so I'm curious to see how that goes Zaya is kind of starting to warm up a little. She is 
not assuming the worst of him because she's starting to get like other little glimpses of him which is nice because that was getting a little tiring um, but it's more so coming from the fact that she's having to do a lot of soul searching and figuring out herself and realizing that she is a pretty insecure person um, so a lot of I'm hoping for a lot of character growth as the story progresses but it's definitely giving Hallmark vibes which is not a bad thing at all I love a good Hallmark situation um, but I could definitely see this coming and be like becoming a Hallmark movie if that makes sense so I am excited to read the next hundred and forty ish pages I think I'm about halfway so I'm excited and I will have one more solid gift left and then I think this little thing in the back also is a part of it but I don't want to look at it yet because I don't want to spoil anything so that's my little check-in I'm having a good time it's a very very quick read so it's been a fun fun experience this sticker I don't know if that um, was in focus or not so if not sorry let's try again let's see there it is the sticker right here cannot wait to take it off but the thing is this is a interesting material so I'm praying that it doesn't ruin the cover because if it does I'll be very upset so we'll see how it goes but anywho that's my little check-in I will see you guys tomorrow um hope you guys had a wonderful fourth of July I would love to know what you did in the comments below do you celebrate do you have traditions do you see fireworks do you not is it something you celebrate? I mean, I know that it's an American holiday. So for my American friends, how do you celebrate? For my non-American friends, how was your 4th of July? Because it's still the 4th of July. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, I really need to go to bed. I am tired. <sighs> okay, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm getting ready to head out to church, but I was reading for a few minutes and I just got to page 171, which is our last official gift gift in the book and in the box. Um, so it's time to open it. This packaging, I, I'm telling you, it's so stinking cute. I love these little bags. This is the bag for this one. Um, I'm curious. I. No, I have a feeling I know what it is, but I am curious if I'm correct. We shall see in just a second. So it's a thing of lipstick. Here is the... Is it actually? Yeah, it is. <laughs> so it's lipstick, but it is... I don't know if you can. But it is 007, and it's Kat Cranwall's Lucky Lipstick. And it is a tube of nude lipstick. I personally don't wear um, lipstick or makeup of any kind so um, it won't be used for me but it is perfect for what's happening in the story because in the story she is getting ready to go out on the town um, and she's on the phone with her best friend in New York and her roommate Nina is there too and they're like talking about going out with the rangers and whatnot but Kat says something she asks her if she's wearing her lucky her 007 lipstick which is Kat's lucky lipstick so it's a whole scene perfect for the story and the minute I started reading it I was like oh this is perfect the perfect thing so that's what they included that's the last like solid gift again there's one more thing in the back um but once I get to that, I will show you guys. But I am enjoying it. It's starting to pick up. There's a little more plot to the story. Um, there's a reason for why she's there. Where the, like, I'm interested to see if there will be a third act conflict. Considering the fact that the characters really haven't, like, it's a slow burn. So I'm I'm curious to see how it goes, so. 171 pages in got a little over 100 pages left I'm hoping to finish this tonight when I get home from church um, and then I will update you with my thoughts then
Alrighty guys, I want to give my final update. It is 11.20 on the 5th and I just finished Famous for a Living. It's a very short book. It took me way longer to finish it than it normally would take me to finish a book. Um, but life's been a little crazy here. Um, there what? I'm saying um a lot. I'm sorry. Ah. There was also this like boarding pass included in the last couple pages of the book. It's cute. It goes with the story. I don't want to tell too much because it kind of gives the ending away a little bit. But this was also included in there. Super cute. So, um, let me move spots and then we'll kind of go over my overall thoughts about the book and the box and the experience in general. Okay, let's start with my thoughts on the book. It was really cute. I really enjoyed it. Again, it was a super fast paced book. It was definitely Hallmark to a T. <laughs> like, if Hallmark was in a book, it would be this. I don't know where I'm sitting on the rating scale. I'm kind of feeling a three and a half for these reasons. The pacing was very much off for me. It was, I don't, is she considering this romance? It's considered romance, but I don't feel like the romance was the main point of the book, if that makes any sense. I feel like the main point of the book was Kat finding herself and like realizing social media had become a problem and just stepping away from social media and being famous for a living and actually just living life, which was great and I loved that aspect. But. I was going into it thinking it was going to be a little more romance heavy and when the romance did come it just felt a little off because they didn't talk a whole lot. Again it's a single point of view and you, Z Zaya, Zaya, I still don't know how to pronounce the name, the way his character was portrayed I feel like he should have had a point of view because he's very quiet, um, just like strong ranger type. Like she did a great job writing that character and she did a great job writing Kat's eccentric influencer type of character. They were just so opposite that it was a little hard for me to root for them because There wasn't any character change up until the last chapter for Cap. Like true, like a full shift, if that makes sense. And even then, it wasn't a complete shift, which I loved because it was realistic. So I, don't, I almost feel like I wish there had been more of romance and them actually interacting, going on more than one date on the story. The pacing, the pacing just felt really off for me, but it was cute. So that's where I'm like kind of struggling. So I think I'm going to give it a three and a half. Yeah. I really did like the, um, national park, um, theme. That was really fun. Uh, again, her side characters were top notch. Mark, oh my goodness, from the coffee shop. I love him. Serena, she was a spitfire. Um, Mina and Kevin and Jax and Peggy and Uncle Terry and just the side characters really did make this story truly to me because I think without them it just would have been a story. Again, could totally see this as a Hallmark movie. Um, and I will say this, and this is just be me being super nitpicky. This cover, just so everyone's aware, it is winter when this book is happening up in the mountains. Like, there's snow everywhere. That's the whole point, is that there's, like, I guess it's not really winter, but it's not, like, there's just, there's snow everywhere. You don't see green at all in the story, so I don't really understand why the cover is so springy, but 
I like the cover. So those are my thoughts on the book. As far as my thoughts on the box, I think it varies person to person and probably box to box. So the box is $49.99, $50. And in this box, you got four gifts and that like paper boarding pass and then a signed book plate a bookmark and then a like magazine type thing with discussion questions and an interview that Melissa did so that was cool so that's what you get the packaging top tier I love once upon a book club's packaging the gifts two of the four blew me away the lipstick and the necklace blew me away because they were word for word what is being described in the book and that's what was so cool the book cozy was cool i really liked that idea um i wish that it had looked like what melissa described in the book because the cozy was described in the book like word for word and i wish they had even just been able to do something similar to the book but it is very cool i do like the addition of the handle and then the car coasters were interesting um they kind of fit the scene but not really because car coasters weren't mentioned and at least with the other three items those were actual items mentioned in the book so again they do all these things they have a team they read the books and they find and they customize stuff so awesome great props to them the packaging again top tier for me personally i don't know if it was necessarily worth the 50 dollars, only because i don't wear jewelry and i don't wear makeup so the only thing i'll get use out of are the car coasters which I mean, I could get anywhere because um, they don't match my car. So honestly, I probably am not going to personally use them. And then the cozy for coffee, which I don't really drink a whole lot of like, hot coffee or cold coffee. And if I do, it's in a different kind of cup and I don't really need a cozy. So for me personally, the items are super cool. It was a really fun experience. I loved the experience of it all. Um, but the worth, like, it wasn't quite worth it necessarily in my mind, if that makes sense. Again, super fun experience. I'm really glad I did it because I really did want to read Famous for a Living, um, really wanted to give it a shot, and this was just an extra fun video, and it was extra goodies. So it was a very fun experience. I'm glad I did it, truly. I don't know if I would necessarily, it's probably not something that I would do monthly. Um, just because, again, you can't guarantee the books that you're going to get. I only did this one because I knew that it was going to be Melissa's book. And again, Melissa isn't, um, Thomas Nelson doesn't do Christian fiction. So there was no faith elements in this book at all. But it is clean there's no language there's no bedroom scenes um anything like that and again the romance is so incredibly light to me it wasn't even really there like there wasn't a whole lot of tension between the two characters so, so i'm pulling this sticker off and it's coming off smoothly so thank thankful for that so there's the cover without the sticker. And I do love this spine. Love it. Again, the premise of the book was super cool. The story was sweet. It was cute. A bit predictable and a little cheesy. Wish it had been a little more romance heavy. Um, and the pacing was a little off for me. And again, the whole experience overall was a lot of fun. And I'm glad I got to do it. And... Um, yeah, it was just a blast. Ooh, one thing, I have to applaud Thomas Nelson for this. This was just, just a blast. One, all the chapters actually had names. 
of like what was gonna go on in the chapter and then underneath that there was an Instagram post right so this is chapter one the launch and then there's the phone and like her Instagram post and throughout the whole book every chapter the nine to five life It was just so fun. I loved, loved, loved that aspect. So to the team that designed this, I applaud you. That was beautifully done. So yeah, I, those are my thoughts. Um, let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried Once Upon a Book Club. Uh, if you did, did you enjoy the experience? Did you find that it was worth it for you? Or if you haven't done Once Upon, Once Upon a Book Club, have you done any book box? What makes a book box worth it to you? Um, I also kind of did this a little bit as a research thing because I own and operate a book box, Faith and Fiction book box. And I do new releases. I do a box quarterly. And I do Christian fiction or clean reads from a, like the author is known to be Christian. Um, so they're either faith-filled or just like clean and sweet. I've done a Melissa Ferguson book. I did her book Meet Me in the, Meet Me in the Margin last year and I have to say I was really proud of that box. Um, but I do the books and I slightly customize. I don't go to the full extreme that Once Upon a Book Club does where you like open the book the the gift at a certain page. I don't go full out like that. But I try to customize items to the book in some way or theme it around the book. So I've been doing that for a few years and I love doing it. Um, but I would love to know what makes a box worth it to you. That, ex that extra expense because it's not a need, it's a want for a lot of people. So I would love to know what makes it worth it and what makes you pick one book box over another or what makes you pause. Lots of questions. So let me know in the comments below. I'd love to chat about it. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget you can check out my blog at fortheloveofchristian.blogspot.com and you can check out my Instagram at for the love of Christian Fiction. All my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!